Hi there, Lake Speed Jr., Total Seal Piston Rings, and we're here in the Dino Cell at Shaver Specialty Racing Engines with my good buddy, Dino Don McCaskill, and we're about to break in this engine right here behind us. Now, what's this engine, Don? This is a 410 cubic inch all aluminum sprint car engine. It makes, oh, about 870, 880. Awesome, so that's a roller cam motor, Correct. right? So there's no flat tapping to do any kind of weird no. flat tapping break-in stuff. No, not so at all. So why are we talking about break-in? Well, you gotta break in the rings. A frequently asked question is, what's the proper break-in procedure? And Don, tell them what we shouldn't do. The worst thing that you could do is start the engine up and do not put any load on it. That is one of the worst things you could do because to break a ring in correctly, the ring has to be pushed against the cylinder wall with a certain amount of pressure, for one. And for two, there has to be a certain amount of heat. One of the key things when it comes to the braking oil, the ZDP in the braking oil, it needs heat and load for it to work. So without cylinder pressure, without load on the engine, the oil can't do its job. And the job of the oil during break-in is to assist the bedding in, the mating of the ring to the cylinder wall to establish excellent ring seal, which means high efficiency, high engine performance. All right, so done. Let's go out of the dyno cell control panel and actually walk through the procedure of how we're gonna break in this engine. So now, Lake, now that we have the engine running, I've gone in, I've checked the timing, which is good, and I've cut the fuel around, the fuel uh, valve down on the engine so that we're not dumping a bunch of fuel. There's just enough fuel in the motor right now to keep it running. And this is the proper way to break in uh, an engine, especially when we're running on alcohol. So what I'm looking at here is I'm watching all my uh, particulars for the engine, oil pressure, the amount of water that's flowing through the engine, and my, oil, my temperature's right here. Now the main thing here is the, the, the torque. This is the, how much load is on the engine right now, and that load right there is one of the most important things that we have to do to ensure proper ring seal break-in. If we do not, if we were to run this engine at the same RPM with no load on it, we would never break the rings in, and if it ran for too long, the rings would you would have to take the engine apart and start over again. We've just completed the initial break-in procedure of the engine. I've went through the valves, we've checked everything out, and now we're ready to make some power runs. Eight hundred and ninety-four horsepower and seven hundred foot-pounds. Three successive runs. Okay, so Don finished making three dyno pulls. So what'd you see, Don? Through each successive run, the power numbers got just a tiny bit better each time we ran it, and that's a really good sign. The rings are starting to get bedded in a little bit more each time we make the power run. The actual break-in procedure itself is critical. Like we discussed, breaking oil needs heat and load for the ZDP to activate. The rings need that same heat and load to bed in properly, which is why you saw Don running the engine with load, making the power sweeps, building the cylinder pressure that drives the rings into the wall so it beds in properly. So now this engine is ready to go. For more information and tech tips, make sure to follow us on Instagram, like us on Facebook, and subscribe to our new Hidden Horsepower Podcast. It's available on Apple iTunes, Google Play, Spotify, SoundCloud, and Stitcher. Until next time, thanks for watching.